Thank you for turning to page 121. Today I'm going to talk, if, if anybody's been paying attention, I've been going through the various Traveler editions by in order of release. So having just finished Mark Miller's Traveler, I'm up to the next one. GURPS Traveler. So we're going to take a look at GURPS Traveler, go into a little bit of the history of it. It's published by uh, Steve Jackson Games. And I need to clarify a few things that have been attributed to me in some of the comments about this being my favorite edition. So I'll clarify that in the body of the uh, video. So right now, we're going to be taking a look at the history of GURPS Traveler. GURPS Traveler, published by Steve Jackson Games, is part of their generic universal role-playing system. This book came out in 1998. In fact, this on the back here, it says first printing September 1998. And it cost me $22. It was $22 I was delighted to have spent. This came on the heels of Mark Miller's Traveler. If you saw my video that I uh, released a couple of weeks ago, you'll know that I was not a massive fan of that edition. I was just disappointed by the quality. I uh, was not in love with going to, all the way back to year zero, although I did like some of the history of that. The big thing about this was GURPS Traveler set us into a Traveler universe where the rebellion never happened. Strephon was not assassinated. Dolinor did not attempt to take the throne. And Virus was never unleashed. We just got a travel universe that continued on from the point that we had loved it back in the mid to late 80s. I have... I like Mega Traveler. I like a lot of what Mega Traveler brought to Traveler. Uh, not a huge fan of New Era. Uh... I liked it, but I didn't want to play in dystopian future. I wanted to play some Traveler. Uh, so the other thing I want to clarify is I, I, a couple of people have commented uh, stating that I have said that GURPS Traveler is my favorite edition of Traveler. It's not. I love GURPS Traveler. I found it a refreshing breath, a breath of refreshing air in the late 90s. But I don't know that I have a favorite edition of Traveler. If I had to pick one... I would most likely just pick the LBBs. The, the classic Traveler is the one I fell in love with and is still my go-to. I, I pull out the LBBs really before I pull out much of anything else. So all that being said, I want to say one other thing, and I'm probably going to get some heat for this, but I don't care. It's the truth. The GURPS system. I'm not a fan of the GURPS system. I've tried it. I've DM'd it. I've played it. I've played it under very good DMs. I've run games that I felt were comprehensive and enjoyable. It's not my cup of tea. Nothing against it. I thought it would have a, a, kind of the same flavor as Champions because I know it's designed to be a, a universal type system. And in a little way it does. But it was never a system that I fell in love with. So I was not buying these Traveler games, these Traveler books for the game system GURPS. I was buying them for the high quality products that they were. This system uh, under GURPS ran from 1998, later 98, until 2003, early 2004. Their, their distribution became a little spotty toward the end. And they put out, I think, over 30 products, of which I grabbed, I believe, every one. And they put out some outstanding products. These are very well written. They can stand shoulder to shoulder with the best of Traveler, with one or two no, minor exceptions. Uh, I found the, the writing to be good. I found the editing to be good. I just enjoyed this system, and I, for a while, thought it was simply because I was back to what felt like Traveler after quite a few years away from it in the 90s with New Era and Mark Miller's Traveler. I was all excited about having the actual Traveler flavor back, but I really don't think that's it. I think the quality of the books, the quality of the writing uh, was really what did it. Uh, Steve Jackson Games brought in Lauren K. Wiseman as basically the line editor for the entire run. Uh, Lauren had been part of the original uh, Game Designers Workshop group. When GDW folded in 96, Lauren was looking for something else to do. Steve Jackson Games approached him. And he said yes. I think this gave the entire line a great flavor of Traveler, having one of the old uh, deckhands, if you will, uh, headlining it and keeping things feeling like Traveler. He was writing for it as well. They also revised the Traveler News Service, News Service, which was a 
feature on Steve Jackson's website for basically the entire time this is being published. And that helped add a lot of flavor to it. You could drop in once a week for free and get the latest travel news service. In fact, they even uh, did a travel news service where there's a news story about uh, Dolinor had uh, been on his way to visit the emperor and oh, there was a, a terrible explosion aboard his shuttle and uh, Dolinor has died. Oh, how could this have happened? Uh, must be mechanical failure. Well, of course, we're led to believe that that's what prevented the assassination and that's what kept our universe going forward as it was. And of course, it wasn't mechanical failure. It was uh, the powers that be got wind of the assassination plot and took steps to top, stop it. That was the kind of stuff I loved about Traveler under GURPS. The GURPS system uh, is open, and, and the stuff that's written in here is pretty much uh, system agnostic. You can uh, pull anything you want out of these. And again, I've said before, that a lot of this stuff is not just Traveler specific. You could also use it in other space games. So just sitting down and reading this stuff for flavor was absolutely what you wanted to do. They published starports and, and a bunch of star ships and just alien races and just a lot of good, fun books. They also published a nice series of 25mm uh, deck plans that I still use today. They were just good quality products. They weren't ridiculously overpriced. I think this was $23, which at the time, yeah, it was $22.95, which at the time was actually a few dollars cheaper than what I was paying save for a Battletech supplement. So these were very much uh, something I loved. Uh, again, I have to clarify, I, I don't declare this my favorite system. I declare it a very fun system. I enjoyed how this system was run. I enjoyed how it was edited. I enjoyed the online feature. Uh, there was just a lot about this that brought me back to what made me fall in love with Traveler 20 years prior to that. So now looking back 20 years later, I ask myself, has my opinion changed? Mongoose Traveler has very nice uh, Traveler flavor. So is that the only thing I liked about these GURPS Traveler books? And the answer is no. I liked these because they're a high quality product, very well written, very well edited. Uh, if you can get them off of eBay or Far Future Enterprises uh, or Drive Through RPG, grab them. Uh, these are fabulous. They work with any era of Traveler. Even if you're running the new era, there's still a great deal of information in here that, that you could find and work with. <clears throat> so I really recommend them. Also, there was a book uh, featuring Lauren Weissman after Lauren unfortunately passed, uh, featuring a lot of his editorials uh, when he was the editor for this and some other notes and thoughts he had had. That also is available at drive Through RPG. And it's fun reading. So I just, I like these. I'm excited that I've, I've reached GURPS Traveler. I feel like I felt at the end of the 90s when I was uh, through the new era and through Mark Miller's. I've come out of the wilderness and I've come back to the Traveler I loved. And even though I had not gone through the rebellion with my campaign, uh, here I had some stuff that, that gave me some ideas of what to do when the rebellion never happened, when virus never happened. So recommend them. Uh, go ahead and pick them up if you don't have them. I'm going to be reviewing several of these books in the near future because I, I feel these stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of the stuff even DGP put out. Uh, and if you follow my channel, you know I'm a big fan of their stuff. Uh, so I do recommend these highly. And uh, I'll go through individual books and tell you why they were great. And, uh, and there are some I wasn't crazy about. I'll call those out as well. I try to keep both sides. I try to stay more positive than negative if I can. But if I can't, well, then I call it like I see it. So that's it. Sorry if I stepped on any GURPS toes with uh, my statements about GURPS. But I feel I did give GURPS a, a good look over, both as a GM and as a player. Uh, the GM I ran or I played under was actually a very good GM. He ran great story. He was absolutely in love with the GURPS system, and uh, I had hoped his enthusiasm would rub off on me, but it never really did. So again, one man's opinion. You have a different opinion, I'm sure. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. Just keep it polite, please. And uh, that's it. Just If you like what you heard here, 
Please like and subscribe and tell your friends and all that other good online stuff. And I'll see you next time from page 121.